So today we're going to learn how to type in Pinyin for Android. Okay, drag your finger from top to bottom to bring up the menu, and then in the top right corner, click Settings. Now that you're in your settings, just scroll down until you get to Languages and Input. Click on that, right? then click on Languages, and click on the plus to add a language, and scroll down until you get to Chinese, or you can search for it in the search bar. Select the first option, and again select the first option, and now you've got your keyboard set up and ready to go. So let's just do some examples. To change the input of the language, you just bring up the keyboard and then click on the globe in the bottom left. And now you can see you have the option to change it to Chinese pinyin. Let's try typing ni hao with no spaces. You may notice that the phone automatically added a space in between ni and hao. This is normal and you don't have to add the space between syllables yourself. You'll see the character list appear, and at this point, it'll be helpful for you to be able to recognize basic characters. The nice thing about the character list is it does show characters in order of how frequently they are used. So in order to select those characters, you can just press on that first character. That is the right selection, and now you have Ni Hao. Let's do another one. For this, let's do Han Yu. Again, I type out the whole word and then select the first character, and now we know how to type that as well. Some words in Mandarin are spelled using the U umlaut, which we don't commonly have on our keyboards. So in order to navigate that situation, it's easier if you just type in the letter V, and that changes to U umlaut. So just to show you an example, there's the word nu shi, which means miss. Now if I just type it with N-U-S-H-I, none of the characters that come up are the right characters. So what I have to do instead is go back and type NV, and now I have the right characters for miss. Now this rule applies most of the time except for four letters, and those are J, Q, X, and Y, because those letters will never be followed by a U umlaut. So no matter if you type a J, U, or a J, V, you'll see the same set of characters. All right, so now that you've got your keyboard downloaded and you know the typing tricks, you are all set and ready to go to start practicing typing in pinyin. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Do you like our video? Did you learn anything fun? Be sure to hit like and subscribe to our channel to get the latest video updates, and be sure to leave your comments below. If you feel like you've learned something from this video, one of the best ways to practice is to go into the Mango course to form new sentences and new thoughts. Click the link on your screen to try it out.